Trump supporters, how can you not love Donald Trump? People love Trump, especially women. Women love Trump. They love him. They do. He's everything they wish their husbands could be. He's kind. He's a good father. And he listens. That's really what a woman wants in a relationship. A man who listens. And Donald Trump, he listens. He listens. Here's a Trump supporter waiting to see him speak on Saturday in Arizona. Here she is. She knows that her husband could never measure up to Donald Trump and be the man Donald Trump is. That's why. I love him. And I think he's... He's the kindest, gentlest man. He listens. He's not a bully like they try to, you know, and he's mean, but he's absolutely. A, I mean, just look at his children. They don't smoke. They don't drink. President Trump. Don't, I mean, he did something right. Yes, he did something right. His children. Yes, that's how you judge a man by how his kids turned out. They've turned out pretty good. Eric, Ivanka, uh, the other one, Don Jr. I mean, they've only been criminally indicted for fraud by the New York State Attorney General just a couple of times. Only a couple of times have they been accused of, of conducting fraudulent charitable organization fundraisers and, you know, inflating the value of their real estate to get bogus loans. The New York State Attorney General has only indicted them a couple of times. They're great kids, right? He must have done something right. Where's his namesake? Where is, where's Don Jr.? I don't see him. Don, oh, Don Jr. Two words for you, two words for you. Joe Biden is a freaking idiot. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Don Jr., could, could you say that one more time? Two words for you, two words for you. Joe Biden is a freaking idiot. All right, that's, uh, you know, that's Don Jr. And it's hard living in the shadow of a great man like Donald Trump. It, it is. You're always going to live in the shadow. You can't measure up. You're always going to be measured against him. Not only that, for poor Don Jr., he's engaged to the brilliant Kimberly Gargoyle. The brilliant Kimberly Gargoyle. She was an attorney in San Francisco, you know, a prosecutor in San Francisco. And she was married to California governor and love stud Gavin Newsom. So in the back of Don Jr.'s mind, right, he's living in the shadow of a love stud like his father and Gavin Newsom. But Kimberly shared a bed with Gavin Newsom. They were married. And Gavin Newsom, you know what he looks like. And he, you know, he made it on his own, except for the Getty money. But, you know, Gavin Newsom made it on his own and he was amazing in bed. That's why the entire state of California on Kimberly and Gavin Newsom's honeymoon night were treated to this sound. The best is yet to come. And you thought <laughs> Tampa was flooded. No, it's tough having... Donald Trump for a father. Uh, it is. Don Sr. told Don Jr. that he could have Kimberly. This is true. This has been in several books written about the, the Trumps. Uh, Don Sr. said to Don Jr., I could have Kimberly, but you take her. That is very generous for a father to do that. Uh, you know, fathers, to do that first, we all want to do that for our sons. No, you go ahead and bone her, son. I can have anyone. So you bone Kimberly. You can't do any better than that. I can. And it's nice for dad to do that for a son, to give him the excess. But I bet, even though Don Sr. is so generous, giving him, letting him bone Kimberly, uh, I bet Don Jr. still feels like less of a man. Like I said, it's tough living in the shadow of a great father. That's why this podcast, The David Feldman Show, is such an abject failure, because I would never do that to my kids.